Okay, let's share our screen. <coughs> can you see them? Can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay, so today we're going to continue after the listening part is reading part. Yes, I told you on Tuesday, right? Today we will learn about reading. Dangerous journeys. After this, after this lesson about reading, you can understand about the dangerous journeys to school. And let's see, um, how, let's see, uh, have you got any, have, have your school got any, uh, you know, journeys that you take part in after this uh, lesson? Okay, now first, let's learn some vocabulary. The first one, we have an attractive. Narrow. 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 Narrow means um, a short distance from one side to the other side. Yeah. Narrow, narrow is just a short distance. Là một khoảng cách rất là ngắn. Thì mình gọi nó là narrow, là hẹp. Yes, là hẹp. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, have, we have the opposite of the attractive narrow is wide. 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 <coughs> wide is large distance. Is the opposite with narrow. Yeah. I mean, large distance means uh, so. And we have dry, dry, dry. You, you just remember dry is no water. We have no water and we call it dry. For example, my t-shirt is dry. My hair is dry. That means no water. And we have wet is the opposite with dry means it it ha it has water. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. We have the next one. Fortunately. 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 Yes. Fortunately. Fortunately. Fortunately means luck. Lucky. Luckily. Fortunately means luckily. So you know luck? You know luckily, right? Yes. Yes, it's the same meaning with luckily. Okay, we have the opposite, attractive. The antonym is unfortunately. Unfortunately means unluckily. So, fortunately ở đây có nghĩa là may mắn rằng. Còn unfortunately là thật là không may, thật không may. Yeah, they are both uh, adverbs. They are both adverbs. Okay. 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 And the next one. We have the word wilderness, 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 wide, wilderness. Let's see. No, we say this is not wilderness. This wilderness, 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 wilderness. Yes, wilderness is a large area of a land. Tức là một cái Khu đất rất là rộng. Ok. 
Wilderness. Okay. Large area of land that has never been developed or used for growing crops because it is difficult to live there. Tức là một cái khu vực, một cái mạch đất rất là rộng nhưng mà không bao giờ được sử dụng để mà trồng cây hay là gì cả bởi vì là cái ở đây cái đất ở đây nó rất là khó để sống để sống sót tức mình là một cái khu đất bỏ hoa khu đất hoa hoặc là khu đất không ai dùng đến bởi vì nó kiểu khô cằn nó không màu mỡ thì làm không được sử dụng ok ok and we have the word bridge Bridge. So you know what bridge means? Uh, no. The bridge. Um, bridge is um, bridge is a structure that is built over a river or a road. You know, a bridge is um is built um, across a river. Uh, yes, we call cầu. Yeah, cái cầu ấy, cầu bắc qua con sông. Yes, and we have a rope, rope. Uh, rope. Yes, rope is just a strong thick string. Strong thick string. Là có nghĩa là cái dây thừng dây thừng nó là một cái dây vừa dày và vừa kiểu nó cứng nó là dây thừng ok so we call rope ok the next one we have a lot of vocabularies today right ok we have the word metal metal uh, metal Metal is a type of a solid substance that is usually hard and shiny. Metal is a kind of solid substance that is hard and shiny. And it is kim loại. Kim loại, do you know? Um, Okay. Okay. Good. <clears throat> and we have valley. Valley. Oh, valley. Valley is an area of low a flow land between hills or a mountains mm. and it is the land that a river flows through we called okay yeah. how can you wait a minute yes <coughs>
Sorry, I have a phone call. Okay. Okay, now we have the word valley. Okay. And the next one is wire. 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 Wire is a metal in the form of thin thread. Mm. What can I show you? I have I have no I have no wire. But it is uh, yeah. maybe okay. And we have the word jungle. 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 Jungle is is a kind of forest, but it is a tropical forest when where trees and plants grow very quickly. Yes. Jungle is, is like a forest, but it is a tropical forest. Jungle là một cũng là một loại rừng nhưng mà nó là rừng kiểu rừng nhiệt đới. Okay, and we have path. 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 Can you can you put your tongue in path? Path. 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 Kind of right, but you need to practice more. It's not exactly correct. But anyway, it is path. You see my tongue? Can you put your tongue yeah. out of your mouth like this? Path. 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 Right? <laughs> it's good. Okay, you try. Okay, you remember to practice more at home. Okay, path is a way or a track that is built by the action of people walking. You know, uh, when people walk in, when people, when a lot of people walk in the same, in the same, in the same way, in the same road, then it left a track and we, a track that, and we call it path. Path la conduct. mà con đường này là con đường mà nhiều người đi qua và nó và nó để lại một cái một cái lối một cái lối mòn ấy. Ok, nó kiểu như thế. It's kind of like that. Today's um, I think that today's lesson is going to be a little bit difficult so you need to pay attention and just practice at home to remember all the new words today okay yeah okay. okay now let's jump into the task one now look at the photos why and and an answer or the question why do these children have to go on dangerous journeys do you think why they have to go on a dangerous journeys like this Um, I think in, in the picture A, you know, some students are walking on a high mountain, very high mountain, and it's very dangerous. And picture P, a uh, picture B, um, some children, some, you know, some boys are swimming across the river. And in picture C, some students are across are crossing a very, you know, a very thin and scary bridge. You know, that is a string, right? And picture D, a girl is a crossing a tra is traveling around along a wire. Wow, là dây điện. Yeah. 
Are you looking for new ones? Yeah, so why do you think that? Uh, do you think that why do these people have to go on a dangerous journey like this? Why? <clears throat> Because they want to go or something else that forced them to go? Can you think of any reasons? <coughs> Now, I think, um, now look at the picture, look at each picture. Can you see that they are wearing uniforms, right? Uniforms. Okay. So maybe uh, this is a school journey, right? They followed by a um, organization in school, for example. So they, you know, in a school journey, they have to go, right? So uh, have you ever taken part in any dangerous journey in your school? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, what was that? Uh, yes. Uh, Yeah. Do you have any? Okay, so you haven't um, taken part in any dangerous journey in your school, right? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Huh? But you don't remember? Uh, I, I don't uh, go to... Um, Okay, you can tell me later if you remember. Okay, now in task two. Um, read the in introduction below, then check your ideas in task one. How dangerous is your journey to school? So perhaps you have to talk across a busy road or ride with your bike in traffic. But in general, your journey is probably safe. For some students, it is very different. So uh, you said that you have taken one dangerous journey in your school. So how dangerous is your journey? How dangerous is that? Is it dangerous or, or not? Is it dangerous uh, or not? Uh, yeah, my... Là cái chuyến đi của con nó có nguy hiểm hay không? Mm, no. Uh, no. 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 So, where do you go to? Uh, where Where do you go on a journey? Where? The place. Ah, uh, this one. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, that's okay. That's okay if you don't remember. Okay, now it's going to be a long, long reading passage. So now read the text here. Read all the text here. 
and then match the text one, two, one, two, three or four with the picture of A, B, C or D. Okay, match one to four with A to D. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Let's have five minutes for this one because it is a long, it is a long, no, yeah, maybe five minutes because it's a long passage, but read carefully and then choose the picture carefully. Maybe you should you should read, you should pay attention to the keyword. For example, in the passage one, you should pay attention to the mount, the word mountain. So in which picture it has a mountain? Yeah. For example, in the passage two, you can look at the river or the rope. Yeah. It's, it's called a keyword for you to recognize Two more minutes. Okay. Okay, good. Now, let's tell me the answer for number for the answer A. What is the answer for A? The A is uh, number, number one. Is number one? Because, can you tell me the reason why? Uh, because it's uh, on a mountain. Yes, it's on a mountain and the path is very narrow and dangerous. Okay, uh, how about B? And uh, B is uh, number three. B is number three, let's see. Can you show me the information? Uh, uh, is, is, uh, across a river uh, yes a river 
and uh, children swim. Yes, children swim. Very good. Okay. Um. Okay. C. And C is number two. C is number two. And the reason why? Oh. Uh, is the the two cross a white river and uh. Mm. Uh, uh, 20, 20 children have to walk across a rope. Very good. So we have to walk across a rope. Yeah, we can see here, right? They are walking on a rope. Yes. Okay, very good. How about picture D? Uh, uh, finally, picture D is uh, number four. Okay. And the information that you found? Uh, is, uh, some children have to cross a large valley and... Yes, cross a large valley, good. And on a zip wire. Very good, <clears throat> okay. So after this reading passage, we have the reading strategy. The reading reading strategy is some uh, some 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 methods, some ways for you to read um to uh, to do a comprehension reading comprehension effectively. So when you match sentences to text, and you have to make sure the whole sentence that matches the information, not just some words, yeah? You know, for example, in, for example, in the first paragraph, you have to look at the whole sentence. For example, that the children have to walk in a line, yeah? So we can know, and so we know that the children have to walk in a line and we have to see that they have to stand against the mountain, yeah, so that we can uh, try to, uh, you know, understand the whole sentence, not just some words. Uh, it's except for some keywords. I think keyword is pretty good. Um, so th th that is the reading strategy. Okay, reading strategy này có nghĩa là con sẽ đọc không chỉ là đọc một từ một mà có phải đọc cả câu và xem nó có nghĩa nó có phù hợp với thông tin này hay không đó có nghĩa là matching heading cho cái dạng này như còn ở trong cái dạng này thì nó chỉ là nối bức tranh thôi thì là mình chỉ cần nhìn vào bức tranh là mình hiểu nhưng ở đây là cả một cái heading dài như thế này hoặc là một cái câu hỏi dài như thế này thì mình phải đọc cả câu mình không thể nào mà chỉ đọc mỗi một từ được đúng không nếu nó là bức tranh thì mình đọc được ok but if it is the whole sentence you need to read the whole sentence ok now let's uh, do uh, the exercise for class 4 which group of the children sometimes put a family member inside a, a bag nhóm đứa, những nhóm uh, đứa trẻ nào mà thỉnh thoảng Um, thì thì đã đặt một cái một thành viên gia đình ở trong một cái một cái một cái túi. Read, remember to read the whole sentence. Match. A, B, C, D, E, F, G with one to four. For example, A is one or A is two. Tức là cái thông tin này nó nằm ở trong đoạn nào? Ok, đoạn một thì mình sẽ đi là một, đoạn hai thì mình sẽ đi là hai. Easy, right?
you have four minutes to do this one. Uh, three to four, so three to four. Okay, finish. How many questions? Uh, how many questions have you got? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't got many. Uh, I have got five. Five. Okay, five. That's good. Now tell me the answer for A. What is the answer? Uh, right? One, two, three, or four? Uh, I, I think this. I, I think this. Um, what is your answer? You just read that. What is your answer? Uh, I think it's um, A is three. A 
he is three. So the information that you uh, that you choose three is where's the information? Uh, the back also also have to say a say in the um, yes. I guess when they Ah, uh, the bags also have the children just to stay safe. No, in the So let me check your answer. No, do you read uh, the passage four? It's very clear. No, a puts a family member. So here we've got um, smart children cannot travel across the valley alone. So their brother or sister puts them in a bag. So brother or sister means family members. In a bag is inside a bag, right? So you can see that the, the, the sentence that you chose is not related to the, the question here, right? It is not related to any family member. It is just stay safe in the water and it, it has no relation to this question. So number three is wrong. And we've got the answer here is number four. And this is the information. Okay. 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 Now, how about B? What is the answer for B? B. Uh, I think it's uh, mm. cannot use the bridge across the river. What is your answer? You said you did that already. So just tell me the answer and I'll check it. Yes, yes. That's right. Cannot use the bridge. It means the bridge is broken or the bridge is something something else that we cannot use it anymore. Uh, this is uh, number two. Number two, yes, very good. So here, the bridge across the river is broken. So 20 children have to walk across a rope. That's right, yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Now see, Something travel very fast, very fast. Oh, uh, it's the number four. Number four, so where's the information? Uh, it's the, uh, the journey is very fast. So the journey is very fast, okay? Now, D. Uh, it's number three. Number three, and where's the information? Can you read the information? Can you read the sentence that you chose? Tức là bây giờ con đọc cái câu mà con con lựa chọn vì sao đây là câu số ba. To cross the river in uh, some uh, the children swim. So there are no bridges or boats, so the children have to swim. Okay, so the children have to swim across the river because there are no bridges or boats. Okay, very good. Uh, how about E? 
have to walk along a dangerous path. They have to walk along a dangerous path. Uh, it's um, number one. It's number one, yes. And where's the information? Uh, it's uh, the path to school is very narrow and dangerous. Very good. Children have to walk. Very good, okay. How about F? Have a long walk as part of the journey, a long walk. So you didn't do this one, right? So here we can see number two here. After that, they have to walk 10 kilometers to the through the jungle. So a long walk here means that 10 kilometers. Yes? 10 kilometers is very long, right? Yes. So that means a long walk is 10 kilometers. So that means um, F is number two. G, we have traveled to school with the head the teacher. Uh, it's number one. It's number one, very good. And can you, can you tell me the, the information? Where is the information? It's uh, the head teacher of the school works with the children every morning. Very good. Okay, so easy peasy, right? Yes. Yes, we have to, you know, read the whole sentences. Yeah, to find the information, not just the word. Okay, do you get it? Very good. Now, let's move to another activity. Uh, put the highlighted adjective in the text into four pairs of the opposites. So, which pair of this of these words are the opposite of each other? For example, I will give you an example. The first one, we have the word dangerous and safe. Is a it it is a couple of words which is opposites with each other. Um, can you tell me, can you tell me, you know, can you tell me another pair? And uh, it's the wet and dry. Wet and dry, very good. What else? Um, uh, small and large. Small uh, and large. Very good. Number four. Um, Narrow and narrow and wide. Narrow and wide. Very good. So these are four pairs of opposites. Very good. Now let's match these words with the pictures below. Now, what is it? What do we call this one? What is it place? I think it's the jungle. It's a jungle. Very good. The jungle is a tropical forest. Okay, number two. Um, uh, number two, I think is uh, um, valley. Valley, good. <coughs> number three. And, and number three is the uh, mountain. Mountain. Can you see the line, the, the path here? I know it is the mountain, but it's the path. Yeah, that's good. Number four, easy peasy. Yeah, it's the boat. Uh, boat. 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 Good. Okay, now this one. Uh, it's a mountain. It's a mountain. This one. Uh, uh, this is a bridge. Bridge. Good. This one? And uh, river. 
It's a river, easy peasy. And the last one. Uh, and finally, it's a rope. It's a rope. Very good. It's just a vocabulary check for all of the words that we just learned today. Now, it's the next one. Uh, can you complete all of this question by using the question words here? Okay, number one. Which question word that we use to ask, to ask a question like this? Uh, uh, is this? Uh, I think it's... Uh, in uh, how many country? In how many country? Now, how many? We have to use the uh, count, uh, you know, the plural nouns. If it is uh, trees. In. Uh, in. Uh, Which? In which, very good, in which, you know, when we use which, we use to ask about the, the choice, the decision, right? Very good, now number, number two. Uh, who? Very good, who? Walks with the children on the mountain path. Number three. When we used to ask about the height, we use how. How high is the rope? Okay, how, how, for example, how tall are you? How long is it? We use how, okay? Number four, number and four why? is, is easy. Uh, why? Why, why, we, why if we use why, we have to use an, a, a verb, a, a, a verb like do or does. Oh, where? Where is the same? Uh, no. Uh, we use how many to ask about the quantity of the children. Okay, how many children have to walk? How many pictures do you have? Okay. Okay. Number five. Number five is where. Where? Good. Where is Minghua? Number six. Mm. Oh, uh, why? Why, good. And number seven? Number seven is what? Is what? Very good. So we just finished our task seven today. And this is also the, the end of our lesson. And the next lesson, we will finish this one. Is it okay? because time is over now so we don't have time to finish this one so we need to keep it in the next lesson but that's okay we will try to finish in the in the next one and today that's it for today thank you for your participation and attention bye, bye. bye. have a good night bye.